Well, praise the good Lord, saints of the most high. Happy July. Can you believe that, like my husband said, we are already, half of the year has already come and gone, like, just like that. I mean, it's just amazing how time flies. So anyway, I hope all is well. I don't know if you have any plans for the 4th or what's going on on your side. Uh, but um, I just want to kind of talk a little bit about the remaining of the summer. I don't know how your summer is going and if you were able to enjoy it or not. Um, someone had uh, asked you a couple of people, but one in particular has said something to me about not doing well with their eating, you know, this summer and whatnot and listen I, I don't i don't i don't mess with people i never mess with people because listen is we all get to choose what we want to do um we're all grown you know it's your choice it's my choice so we all get to choose what we want to do but i'm doing this video just to kind of maybe give you some tips on um how you can continue to enjoy uh the summer i know at least for me I think every weekend this summer since what May June since May because if June just left so I think every weekend we my husband and I have been doing something we have either been to open houses we've been to birthday parties um, bridal showers a wedding this weekend and it's it's still going on um, stuff is still going on so it's been a lot of um, eating. Um, decisions that we all had to make or have made and whatnot. So this is just a few tips um, for those that are, and I'm not saying that you are concerned, maybe you're not, maybe it's just the one or two people that have come up to me, but I thought I would share this with the group for the remaining of the summer, what should you do? And for holidays in general, um, a lot of times during the holidays, we feel like that's our excuse and our reason to be able to eat what we want as much as we want. And if that's what you do, that's fine. Listen, I am nobody's judge. I will not judge you because I don't want anybody judging me. So I try to live by that rule. Um, but there are some tips and some things that you can do. Um, so first of all, starting with your drinks. Stay away from the drinks. Stay away from the pops, the sodas, the punches, and all those stuff. Stay away from it. Um, that is something that a lot of people don't realize how much we drink all these high sugar, you know, drinks and stuff like that. So stay away from it. Take your water with you or when you get there, get water. I think it depends on how much you like um, to drink. I think that's probably one of the easier things to eliminate. So I would say that would be the first thing and probably the easiest, unless you just have this, some people have this draw um, when it comes to different sodas and different drinks of, of sorts. But listen, I, I promise you, if you watch your what you drink, you will see a difference, like immediately, um, a difference in your, your body and your change and how you're feeling and stuff like that. So your drinks, uh, you can eliminate drinks whenever you go to other places. Um, there were a couple of times that I actually forgot my water. And unfortunately, you know, they didn't have anything. Um, one place in particular, so I just had like about that much punch just so that I can drink something with my food. But anyway, avoid uh, avoid drinks. Eliminate the drinks that you are, uh, um, that are at the places that you're going to. Another thing is condiments. So, um... B barbecue, ketchup, uh, sweet relish, all those things um, that you don't realize that is very high in sugar that you can uh, um, eliminate that as well. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else. You know how we do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, be mindful of those things that you are putting putting on your food while you're going to different places. And I always say what you can always do is introduce your food to it. Don't put it on your food because a lot of times we overdo things. But if you put it on your plate and then you can introduce your food to it, if you feel like you have to have your barbecue and stuff, do know that there are recipes out there that are barbecue recipes that are much healthier than what we put, what we make or either buy um, out of the store or off the shelf. So keep that in mind. Um, little, little or no, none at all. 
portion size. Remember that you can always start off with a little bit. I got excited at an open house, um, <laughs> and bless my heart, I, I got really, really excited, and I was like getting a little bit of everything. And I will admit, by the time, I didn't even, by the time I ate half of my plate, I was like full. And I was so mad at myself because, silly me, I don't like wasting stuff. So then, of course, even though I'm full, I went ahead and ate all of it. I didn't make myself sick that day. Um, but it was just a reminder, okay, Sean, you can always go back for second. So always keep that in mind. You can start off with a little a bit, okay? Moderation, portion size, okay? So that's something else. Um, also, prepare. So if you know, um, like I sometimes do, know that I am going to do bad, you know, this Saturday or whatever, that I'm going to go out for the weekend or I'm a, I'm going to this open house or whatnot, I prepare myself. And how do I prepare myself? Is that, first of all, most of the time I'm eating healthy all week long. So if you see my plate whenever we're out and about, trust me, that's not something that I do all the time. Um, so that's just for that occasion. But um, what you can do is that you can prepare yourself by eating healthy if you're not eating healthy during the week. So that way during the weekend, you know, you can do what you're going to do, uh, eat what you're going to eat without feeling uh, a lot of guilt or uh, whatnot. Um, so and then also some people, what they do is they kind of take some of their own things. Uh, so the, if you don't know what's going to be served there, I've seen people take their own food. Now, I have not done that. I'm not there yet. I just figure what they have is what I'll eat, and then I get to choose what I'm going to eat according to what they have. Um, just recently, I went somewhere, and I decided not to get the chips in. The, the, it was like a Mexican bar, really, really nice setup. So I just decided I just wanted to get the vegetables and the rice and stuff. So that's what I did. I didn't get any chips or the tortillas or anything of that sort um, or whatnot. So just being mindful um, if you do stuff. And then um, and then I think just, also, just remember that everything is about moderation. The only problem is about moderation is a lot of us don't have... Uh, what's the word I want to use? Like, it's just hard for us to stop. Like, we don't have stopping sense, including me. That's why I promise you there's a lot of stuff that I do not bring in my house because people feel like I got a, a strong will against things. Like, I can just, I, I'm not there. I am not there. After so many years, I think it's been three or four years now, I'm still not there. Um, so I, if it's something I like, I don't bring it in my sight. I don't bring it at home. But also do know that there are times when I feel like something and for, for some strange reason, uh, recently I felt like those little lemon cookies, you know, the little lemon fillings in the, between the cookie, the vanilla cookie. And so I went and found some at the dollar store, ate it, and I was fine. So I'm good. And it probably won't eat, eat it again for a long time. But that's just that's just what it just don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Just know if you recognize and know what you're doing and that you need to not do it, then hopefully you'll get to the point where it won't be a temptation to you anymore and you will be able to make better decisions and whatnot. Do know that the decisions that you make is all up to you, all up to you on what you decide that you want to do. Um, and then the last thing I will say is that if you decide, hey, I am going to go and enjoy, I'm not listening to Sister Shine. I don't wanna hear nothing she got to say, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, whatever, whatever you wanna say, not a problem, because guess what I'm going to tell you? I will tell you, enjoy. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy it. I mean, hey, listen, last year we was in a pandemic. We couldn't celebrate any of our holidays or anything of like that of that sort for the most of us. Um, maybe some of us did, but um, I know most of us, we were on, on lockdown. We were shut down. So this is, this is a good time to be able to celebrate. 
And so I, again, I'm not tripping and I don't, hopefully nobody's looking at you and judging you and hopefully they're not looking at me and judging me. Um, so ex enjoy it, but understand that this is the exception to the rules. The rules are that if you eat healthy, then your body's going to be healthy. You're going to be healthy. But if you eat unhealthy, you're going to be unhealthy. So just keep that in mind. That although you might be enjoying a barbecue here and a, you know, a little this there and so forth and so on, keep in mind this is not something you want to do every day of your life for the rest of your life because it's going to catch up with you. But I will say, if you get out there and you're having fun and, you know, whatnot, enjoy. Don't stress about it. Stress also causes us to make bad decisions and eat things that we shouldn't eat. So anyway, that's that's all. I'm just rambling right now at the mouth. Um, I just wanted to just take the time out just to, you know, just to say that. As um people, you know, come to me and I'm like, uh, you know, saints, I'm not, I'm not nobody's coach. I'm not your judge. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just sharing sharing things with you as I'm learning. So um, anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, I do we want to remind you that next Saturday, July the 10th, we will be meeting on the Monon Trail. Um, so there will be no um, meeting this Saturday. No meeting this Saturday. But we will be meeting next Saturday, July the 10th on the Monon Trail. Um, so I think that's all I have for you. So I pray that you have a wonderful and safe um, 4th of July, uh, be safe on this weekend and, um, Lord willing, I will see some of you on Saturday on tomorrow and some of you, I will see you on Sunday, Lord willing. All right. God bless.